Hey guys. Thank you. Thank you. Um, here we go. A man with no feeling one way or another towards the undead, Rolling Stones drummer Charlie Watts became Mick Jagger's unwilling recruit in his eternal war against the Fab Four. Frustrated with his role in the various fracases, Charlie was more than willing to discuss with me the most memorable of his forays into zombie hunting after a Charlie Watts Orchestra rehearsal at Residence Studios in London in March of 2007. Charlie Watts. The problem with Mick bringing me on board was that I personally thought John, Paul, and George were top geezers. If the Beatles wanted to eat brains, let them eat brains, so long as they weren't mine, or my family's, or my bandmates. So did I want to be part of ending the Beatles' reign of terror? No. But was I obligated to help my bandmate? Yes. So on December 31st, we hit the London streets in search of the three most famous zombies in the world. Nick was always good at sniffing out the undead. So it took us a grand total of 90 minutes to track down the Beatles. They were all together, hanging out at Ronnie Scott's Jazz Club, digging on a New Year's Eve performance by an American guitar player named Wes Montgomery. After the bloke at the door let us in for free, and that was one advantage of being a Rolling Stone, I never had to pay a cover charge, we took a couple of seats by the bar. I looked around the crowded club and asked Mick, what are you going to do, mate, attack him in front of all these people? He said, no, no, no. I don't want any civilians to get hurt. I said, what about me? Don't you want me to not get hurt? Mick said, don't be a baby. And, and that's all he said. None too reassuring. When the set ended, most of the audience headed to the exit and Ringo went off to the loo. Mick said, guard the door, Charlie. Don't let anybody in. Don't let anybody out. It's time to take out the trash. I said, take out the trash? What the fuck are you going on about take out the trash? He said, I'm taking out Lennon, McCartney, and Harrison. Sure, they're brilliant musicians. And sure, they put British bands on the map. But they're zombies, thus they're trash. Get it? I said, I get it. You sound like a fucking ponce, but I get it. He hated when I called him Ponzi, but I hated when he brought me into shite like this, so fair is fair. I said, what's this about me guarding the exit? How do you expect me to stop people from going in and out of the busiest jazz club in all of fucking Europe? I'm as skinny as a stick. Mick said, don't know, mate. You're a smart man. Keep him distracted. Sign autographs or something. I said, seriously, man? This is the last time. He said, of course it is, because it ends here! He was always saying, it ends here. It never ended here. So I guarded the door, or, or I pretended to. See, Mick was so wrapped up in starting the clash that I could have dropped my trousers and waved my plonker all about, and he wouldn't have noticed if I was guarding the door or taking a leak. He quietly started doing his hip wiggling and lip pursing, which he claimed was a top weapon against zombies. <laughs> but I wondered if it was such a top weapon, why were the Beatles still around? John must have had a sixth sense about that sort of thing because he was up and in defense mode within seconds. When he saw it was Mick, he started laughing and then tapped McCartney in the shoulder and said, Oi, Paulie, look who's here! Paul turned around and laughed so hard that he spit out a mouthful of scotch and coke. He said, Ooh, Mick's back. Give us a kiss, love. And then Paul blew him a smooch. Mick said, For you, McCartney, a kiss by any other name is the kiss of death. George said, Christ, Mick, you sound like a fucking ponce. I yelled out, That's what I said! <laughs> Ringo came out of the water closet and yelled back, Right, good one, Charlie. How's it going, mate? I said, Great, Ringo. Heard Ludwig sent you a new set of snare drums. How's it working out? Ringo said, Love it. Just love it. Mick said, The lot of you shut up. <laughs> on this ground, on this hallow ground of this hallow jazz club, right here, right now, right this very minute, I declare a battle to the death. Mortal versus zombie. Hunter versus hunted. Stones versus Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> Ringo did some ninja thing and magically appeared behind Mick then said, You're sounding awfully dramatic, Mr. Jagger. Then in a most excellent Mick impression, Your powers are useless against ninja lords, oh great zombie hunter. Surrender or feel the sting of the shuriken. John, Paul, and George started giggling again and Paul said, You tell him, Rings, give him heck in that. George wadded up his napkin and threw it at Mick. He bopped him in the head and I, I couldn't help laughing. Mick said to me, Quit being a cunt, Charlie. If you're going to act like this, why don't you just piss off? I told him, cheers, mate, and I pissed off. <laughs> Thank you.